cancer. It's a very scary word. But an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center. As a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it through the day. Pikeville Medical Center is hosting a Stroke Awareness Day event on Tuesday, May 2nd with guest speakers and free screenings to spread the message. The event will take place from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Mountaintop Media Stage in front of the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Knowing the risk factors and how to combat them could make a major difference in someone's life. So we're really excited about Stroke Awareness Day this year. We've had to cancel the past few years due to COVID, but we're back at it this year. Um, we're going to be offering a, a lot of giveaways, a lot of free screenings, um, we're going to offer refreshments, uh, a light lunch, and then there's going to be several speakers just to talk briefly about um, some risk factors for stroke and then what to do if you think you're having a stroke. The importance of calling 911 and getting to the hospital as, as quick as you can. Um, so we're really excited to get back out in the community this year. The risk for stroke in eastern Kentucky is higher compared to the national average due to reasons such as diabetes, smoking, and poor dieting. PMC is offering their services to inform the public about this health issue. We live in what is called the stroke belt. Um, in the United States, a stroke occurs once every like 40 seconds, but where we live in the stroke belt, it, it's actually more often because we have such a high incidence of diabetes, smoking, obesity. Um, so the goal of Stroke Awareness Month is just to raise awareness about like risk factors for stroke, um, what we can do if you have risk factors that you can actually change, what you can do to change those, and then what to do if you are actually having a stroke, what to do to get help. We're going to have several tables set up. They're going to provide screenings. We're going to have like a BMI table set up to check your BMI and then you'll move on and they'll check your blood pressure, um, check your glucose because all of those things, if you have those checked frequently, you can be more aware of your risk for stroke. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.